we are often asked, what is the best way that students can prepare themselves for college? The most beneficial skill a student can develop that will prepare them for college is increasing their ability to read. The most fundamental skill to learning is reading, not just seeing or sounding out the words, but comprehension and an ability to interpret what is in the words. If you can read well, you can not only learn more, you can write better, and you can improve your vocabulary, all of which is important to your growth and to your future. And the benefits of learning how to truly read will be important to your life beyond education. Reading provides information, helps you understand processes, and provides entertainment. If you can read well, you can understand your world, work within it, and help escape when you need to be distracted. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Reading Well is the Key to Your Education. Now we know that many, many students are facing fundamental challenges to their reading skills. They haven't learned or they haven't been taught. If that is you, go to your counselor today and tell them that you recognize your challenges and do not take no for an answer when it comes to finding assistance. It is your school's job to teach you strong reading skills. Work with everyone in your path to grow your skills. That may mean working with your parents, teachers, or a tutor. If you can read and comprehend well, you can take in primary sources, follow specific directions, build commonality with others, and start to piece together those concepts you do not understand. To be honest, the best thing you can do to increase your skills is to read more and more and more. And as you read, make sure you are reading anything and everything. Read what interests you, read about topics that you are not the least bit interested in, read prose that seem easy and those which are challenging. The most important step to improving your reading skills is to assess where you are now. You need to be honest with yourself as you assess your reading skills. Ask your teachers, parents, and any tutors you have about their interpretation of your skills. Then test yourself. For example, you can find reading samples from standardized testing online that provide pros and questions about comprehension. Most of these practice tests include the answers, so you can test your abilities. Here are some more ideas. Share an article with a friend and then discuss your interpretation of the material versus theirs. Ask a teacher if you can read a portion of your assignment for their class and then discuss your reflections on that writing with them. That will allow you to measure your ability to comprehend what you have read. Another exercise is to read the same document twice. After the first, write down your observations, take a step back, do something else, and then reread the document and your observations from the first reading. What do you pick up from the reading the second time through that was not evident the first? As you read, make sure you are taking the time to find the definition of any words that you don't know. Use words you are learning from your reading in your everyday conversation and in your writing. This expansion of your vocabulary will build your confidence and improve your writing. When it comes to academic reading, the key tends to be focus. If you're reading long or technical passages, keeping your mind on what your eyes are seeing becomes difficult. There are a few ways to help with this. One is to read aloud. Seeing and hearing can help bring you into the topic. Another is to take notes. Seeing the concepts in your own words can help with retention. You can take notes in a few ways, no matter if you're writing on paper or in a device. You can read a designated passage and then write out your understanding of the information. Another way is to only write down the information that's new to you, such as a definition or writing out a concept that is new. You can also rearrange the information so that it makes more sense to you. An example of this is drawing a chronological line to put dates of events in perspective. One more example of taking notes is to draw a line on your paper and take notes from your reading on the topics you do not understand. Then use lectures or a conversation with your instructor or other resources to find the explanation. Then write it on the paper next to the place where you wrote the concept initially. Some people also swear by highlighting passages, though studies are beginning to indicate that this gives us a feeling of accomplishment without a corresponding understanding of the reading. If it works for you, Great, just make sure you are evaluating why and what you are highlighting.
Try to find a productive environment for your reading. If you need silence, find a quiet private space so you can focus. Pay attention to the lighting, your line of sight, and the temperature of the room. Sit up or stand instead of reclining if you're tired. Be someplace where you can read out loud without bothering others. Break up your reading. You are going to run into an instructor or two who assigns a large amount of reading. Don't try to convince yourself that you can read it all at once or that skimming it will be all you have to do. Work your schedule to allow you to read the assignment in reasonable chunks. Take breaks and start early. There is some data that is starting to suggest that individuals better absorb the written word on paper versus e-reading. Some of that is because the device offers easier ways to be distracted and turn off notifications while studying. Some of this is generational and much of this is a question of what works for you. However, if you can train yourself to read well in both functions, you will be that much further ahead. Reading to find one specific answer without any curiosity for the subject or with your mind clearly in another space can undermine your ability to learn. Recognizing that reading is the key to understanding, adventure, and connecting with others is vital to your education. Expand your world and your education by growing your reading skills. Work to get better at reading, no matter how strong your skills seem to be right now. If you found this information useful, click the like button or subscribe. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.